Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get the bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario theme city. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to be showcasing the uh, our A mod, and which we'll get into uh, in a second. Uh, oh, I love these outside connections uh, views of the intros, don't I? <laughs> They're always a little silly. Um, but uh, we're going to be uh, showcasing the commuter destinations mod in this episode. We uh, used it last episode as well, but I think this episode we're going to start off talking about it. We're going to do something a bit different with um, uh, the layout of the episodes because we're going to uh, do some viewer suggested additions at the end of the video rather than at the front of the video. Um, so that's what we'll be starting with. And this is part three of the, of the transit revision, I guess. I know originally we said two, but our two episodes, but, uh, you know, things just keep on rolling. We need to do a couple, a bit more. So showcasing the effect of, or not the effect of transfers mod. That's a different mod. Uh, the commuter destination mod. There we go. We'll be showcasing that. Um, and then we might dive into some tourism, uh, and then into viewer suggested additions. Um, and, uh, you know, what? I'm gonna try something new today. Uh, I've been watching lots of Netflix recently and, uh, I just finished Manifest, fantastic show, really enjoyed it. Season one was clearly the best season. Uh, but uh, what have you guys been watching on Netflix? Let me know in the comments down below, or it doesn't have to be Netflix, it could be any streaming platform or cable or anything. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions uh, for cool television to watch. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's dive into it. So we're back here, the, the heart of the city of the, at the waterfront, and there is, uh, Lots to do in today's episode. So last episode we kind of t took a peek at a lot of the, the buses and everything like that. And we found something very unique about one particular bus. So why don't we uh, just kind of dive along through. We'll be going right over here to Union Square. And we're going to just go up to this view <laughs> really quickly. And we're going to dive down because we're going to try to catch this bus. Because this bus just left right here. And if you see, let's go into sync first person viewer. There are so many people queued up here <laughs> that they've become one. They've become the blob. So, uh, whoops. Uh, they're all lining up for this bus. And if we go to the stop right here, if you have the commuter destinations mod set up, uh, which is what kind of what we showed at the end of last episode, but I want to show, show this at the beginning of the episode because of how important it can be. So we're just going to literally just zoom out after clicking the button, we're going to see these walking motions. <laughs> um, and this is where everyone is going from this bus stop. So we have tons of people trying to get over here. But we also have lots of people trying to get up here. So that is very interesting. So we, there's clearly a lack of transit in this corridor. So how would someone from over here get over there? Well, why don't we open up our transit tab? Well, the green bus sure does go through here. Um, so that is very interesting. But we also have the possibility of them using a tram to get over into here. And then, which is the yellow tram. Uh, and then they could go up this purple line and use that. Uh, or, you know, there's not really a, a great subway stop for them. I mean, people living right here, here might be able to use it. But by extending this blue, light blue tram, we might be able to bring it up into here, which was actually a suggestion. Uh, and then that would kind of double up on the amount of transit going through here, because if we were to delete this bus loop, which we might not do, uh, it could really uh, help that out. But also people are waiting at that stop and then they are going all the way up north here. So if we keep that one highlighted, you kind of see where they're going, right? So there's lots of people taking it quite a long distance to get over here. So why don't we get a tram that runs right along here and goes up and kind of terminus is there because it, one, it'll cross this tram line, across this tram line. And then if we bring it all the way down where we had this purple station or this purple bus before, which, you know, we might keep in some extent, uh, it could terminus down here and connect with this one. So this is going to be a very strong connector tram that would connect a lot of things. Uh, through here There'll still be a bit of a gap uh, in transit options over this way But uh, you know, there's also people going to the zoo as well. That's pretty interesting uh, From this bus stop 
So perhaps we just need to try to get people to get onto our bigger networks. So that's what uh, the, the beauty of this mod is. But clearly the biggest obstacle is the amount of people simply just trying to get not that far away using this. So what we might do is change just a touch of uh, the transit up, maybe tweak this bus line, tweak this bus line that we only recently added in. But that's what we will do, because if we go to the yellow tram, which I think is going the wrong direction, I think it's this tram that we need to look at. Uh, we go to line details, and then we need to find the stop, which is this one. Uh, there aren't that many people deciding to transfer to the purple line that goes up this way. So by adding in an extension of the tram, we're hoping that we might be able to kind of fill that gap if, of transit through here. So that's what we'll be starting off with today. Uh, and that mod is just outstanding because it just kind of showed us exactly what we needed. So uh, we actually might not bring the tram all the way down. I'm thinking about it now because we have this uh, stop through here. Uh, kind of changing paces, but we might uh, get it to terminate uh, with this one and then we'll have this bus kind of as the connector Though it would be great. Perhaps what we can do instead is to just avoid uh, This all together and then maybe we can bring the tram through the park Which could be really neat as well. We could avoid the intersection. We could bring the, the tram uh, through here uh, As well, so uh, yeah, why don't we? Uh, why don't we get started? All right, so the most importantly, I think we need the tram through here. So I think that's what we'll start off with uh, doing. And even we, instead of bringing it across, because we do have a pretty strong bike network, though it would be nice to, to get that connection. Uh, let's look at our tram options. Uh, this is a bike lane currently, but we're gonna be eliminating lots of buses uh, through here by doing this. So I don't feel too, too bad because we're kind of just switching up the transit options here. All right, so. Uh, let's start off right here. So this is right off along Ontario Street. I uh, will be changing the, or adding this in. Let's anarchy it in. All right, let's keep it going. Right across. Connect with uh, the electric line right up here. Oh, I think I deleted something. That's okay. And then we are kind of at the uh, extent here, but um, we're in this residential neighborhood. But there's lots of path connections through here that run pretty thoroughly into this neighborhood. So it could be really convenient to literally just wrap the tram around. So that's what we'll do. We'll create a bit of a, a one-way loop system for the tram at least. So we're going to dive into the tram roads. And then there is two-lane one-way tram line. I think it's this one. Oh, no, that's one uh, way with parking. Uh, aha, here it is. So uh, we need to flip that around. There we go. We'll get that to run down through here, and then we'll turn collision off. Oh, I thought I did. There we go. We'll turn it back on now. And one more time, and there we go. So we have a single lane tram loop, and then this one needs to flip. Yeah, there we go. So the tram can connect up right through here. People can walk over. That'd be great. People can also walk over from this side too, which would be uh, really useful. All right, so that tram line now, oh, looks like I missed one. There we go. That tram line will now connect with multiple tram lines. It'll run right down. And then now here's the decision. Do we continue it over? Because we can pretty simply connect it into this tram line at least, uh, but do we, try to just avoid marking or going through this intersection because that would definitely cause quite the issue, not gonna lie. So what we could do instead is we could bring it down through here, connect uh, with this tram line via this situation. And now we have this factory through here. I was thinking about it getting a connection into here as well but perhaps we just look to terminate uh, the line over in this direction. All right, let's do that. So we will uh, upgrade this. So this is actually ground level, whoops. All right, and then now we're going into bridge. 
and we'll need to turn collision off. Oh, I thought I clicked bridge. Oh, you know what? This is just an elevated piece, but the bridge piece could look pretty cool. No, 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 let's just go with the elevated piece. There we go. And this is also elevated. All right, and then now we are at a quite a larger road, so I think we'll just have to upgrade that to this one. Ground level, collision back on. There we go, and then uh, we can keep this bike lane in order, but this bike lane has kind of been <laughs> become a bit obsolete now because we've uh, switched it with with, uh, with with trams. So that uh, kind of throws a wrench in things, doesn't it? But uh, how about we'll just bring it down through here and we'll just get a four lane one. There we go, that's probably fine, shared, and then we can either get it to terminate here or we can loop it through this way. So this is a bus stop right here for that purple bus. So that might be a good transfer spot, though I do believe that perhaps a bus over here would probably be a bit better to connect to these areas. Um, but I think we'll leave it for now because in a way this kind of works. And now we have a pretty thorough uh, connection here. So I'm just gonna dive into uh, the bus or the, the transit system here. Let's actually turn this on for you too, I always forget. Uh, let's dive into this and then let's go into the bus lines because I wanna delete that purple line we just made. So very downtown connection. We're just, not many people are using it. So we're just gonna delete it for now. All right, people are upset about that, I know, but we just built a brand new tram system for them. So in reality, I mean, they should be pretty happy with the city spent this, this much money on this. <laughs> um, all right, so let's uh, get that tram stop right where this bus stop used to be. Um, okay, I'm just going to look to get a stop right here temporarily. And then I guess we can try to get it to stop in here, or do I want it to just come over this way? A little weird that I can't get a stop over here. Okay, we might need to tweak some things, so I'll just do that. Um, and then I'll loop back. Oh, whoops. Of course not. So let's uh, let's try to get, let's just get this in here. I think I think it'll be fine. Uh, and then we'll get another stop here temporarily. I'll swing out. I'll go over the bridge. And then right about here where we have that blue bus right there. I think that's a good transfer spot because uh, we're pretty close to Union Park here, which then people can transfer over into Union Station. Uh, we'll then jump over. We'll go across this bridge and then or across Drake Boulevard. And we'll get a stop right here because of the main uh, road. And then we'll get another stop right here right after Main Street. All right, and then we will get a transfer opportunity uh, right here to get onto Electric Avenue. And then we'll just swing up and then we'll get a stop right up in here, right at this uh, little junction. And then we'll come back, get a stop right here, get a stop right here. Well, actually it should probably be here, but that's fine. Uh, all right, and then we'll just kind of mimic it all the way back, hop over the bridge, and we'll terminate the stop here. So this is just temporary, I believe. I do want to tweak this a little bit more because I don't exactly like how uh, they terminate together, but I think if I do that, we'll see a lot of people leave and, and run for the tram, hopefully. We'll see if they actually decide to decide to or not. Oh, and then we definitely need uh, to add some TMPE back in here. There we go. That's probably good. Yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to go onto the tram here, which is uh, which is nice. So I actually didn't name that tram, uh, but we'll come back to it another time. Uh, let's look at the buses here because this bus connection now has become a bit different. Uh, so. I don't really want that bus running along the tram road uh, that much. Oh, sorry about this. Oh, wrong button again. Holy cow. Uh, industry bathroom sloop. That's what it is. Whoops. I guess I should have just really just popped open the bus tab tool. 
because uh, this one loops all the way down into here, it goes all the way over here. It's a bit of a mess, not gonna lie. But it's a great transfer spot, so I think what we'll do is we'll get it to turn over here, and then we'll get it to stop. It's probably not the best spot, but if we get it to stop over here, that's a bit of a mess. So perhaps we do just get it to stop. Oh, there we go, that works. Uh, we'll get it to go there, it'll come through here, and then we'll get it to just try to get out of here as soon as possible, so we'll get it to uh, temporarily stop right here, just to direct the line. And then, oh, it's going to the subway. But in a way, if they're trying to get to the subway, you should just hop on the orange line, right? Because the yellow line over here would connect with uh, these trams, which would be a bit better, and then right here too, so there's no point of it connecting to the subway. Um, so we'll just delete that stop, and then, so there's a bit of a dipsy doodle around, and then it ducks into here. I don't think that this is necessarily needed, and then that is definitely too much, so uh, perhaps what we can do is just get rid of that. It'll stop twice in here, and loop back around. Yeah, and this way you can connect to two different tram lines if people from the industry area are looking to go this direction. I think I'll just add two more stops in here, just to help out. And I think that should be fine. Could also have gotten a stop right in here, but uh, then we would have messed up with that. So this is a bit of a mess. I'm not gonna lie, but I should have already helped out with this green line. So let's take a look back at here, and we'll grab this bus, we'll grab its line details. So there's still lots of people uh, trying to get over here, because I guess in a way we've eliminated lots of people looking over there, or looking to get over here, but in a way this bus is the best option, unless we were to improve that in another sense. So let's grab this view. And let's take a quick peek. So this green bus is surely the best option for them at the moment. But if we kind of look to get people, more people at this yellow line, or on, on the yellow line here, perhaps more people will take it. So let's just simply try and add a stop in right here, right under the bridge. It's pretty close to this one, but in a way it might actually work here. Perhaps this stop should actually be over here. So a bit of a milk run, but hopefully this will take people away because in reality I don't really want this green line through here anymore. Uh, we might just change up this green line to pretty much run. Well, in a way we've kind of gotten everything already done, haven't we? So why don't we look at deleting the green line, so it's, that's the downtown loops, and then we'll kind of redraw them in. So in a way, we're helping people get around the transit system by deleting uh, buses, in a way. So we'll delete these two downtown loops, and then let's just quickly zoom in where those people were, and let's see where they're going to go. So lots of people went over this way, lots of people are running across here, and they should be running to the next. These people are all going to uh, the subway it seems lots of them are some people are walking these people are, are hopefully they're gonna stop right here yeah looks like it okay and this a lot of people are are also just walking um, all right so hopefully that tram line so maybe we just actually increased the amount of people using this tram line so why don't we uh, just quickly add on a tenth vehicle maybe an eleventh just uh, to help out for the moment um, and things are clogging up over here too and this way we have lots more people, uh, lots more flow through here. We don't have buses coming through along this little kiss and ride here on Union Street. Um, so uh, maybe in a way that, that actually helps. <laughs> uh, all right, then the next thing we're gonna do is actually look at extending a tram line. So whoops, I probably should have left that open. Uh, trams. All right, so we have this blue line that comes up from the waterfront. It goes right across through here, it crosses, it connects with the this, with this orange line, which runs east-west through here. It's a short line, but a very effective line. Uh, and then it runs north, and then it connects into here. 
But what we could do is, seeing as it already connects to the yellow line pretty well, uh, what we could do is we could actually move this stop and get it to go more north. So if we get this line to go right up to here, right up into the school, it can connect up to this, uh, this line here, which would also really help with traffic flow. So why don't we try doing that? Actually, before we do that, let's check out the mod. So I'll grab this line here, I'm trying to find this stop. Here it is. And let's zoom out where these people are going because they should probably just be going down here. Yeah, they're going down this way. So, I mean, that makes sense. Nothing special, but at least now we know, right? So let's uh, grab this and then we're going to drag the stop north and we'll just get it to stop with this purple line. So it's a bit more of an effective transfer. And right now it's mimicking, oh, whoa, it's going all the way over there, eh? Um, all right, so then we're gonna try to find that again. Uh, sometimes it's really frustrating trying to do this. Oh, no, I don't want to create a new line. Drag line to add stop. There we go. We'll add a stop right there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it into the university. But what we're going to do is we're actually just going to take these two roads right here. And we're going to make them tram roads. So let's just try and find the correct road to this one that we need. We're going to upgrade this. We're going to turn collision off because we don't want to destroy anything that we've done turn collision back on and then we're just going to get that to loop around here well actually you know what uh, we should just use this one here let's turn collision back on there we go and let's try to figure it out so it's that way there we go yeah that works uh, it's probably a bit less lanes than we need but it'll still work all the same all right, so we just got that blue stop in here. So let's try to grab the blue line. No, I would just like to grab the blue line, please. There we go. And then we'll add in a stop uh, right here. So it'll transfer right there. And then this purple line, it has its transfer here, but I would think I would prefer it right here, to be honest. Ah, but then it's getting pretty close with this one. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then now we can transfer with the blue line uh, right over here. I'm actually just going to drag this down so it's a bit, uh, a bit easier. And we should probably look to add in another blue stop. Holy cow. Sometimes, eh? There we go. Did I just double it up? I think I did. I think there's a trick to this, but do I know it? No. There we go. Okay, I got that stop in now. So now it has two transfer points, I guess. Uh, but I think that'll be fine altogether. And then we already have one here, so that's fine. All right, so that altogether should really increase the flow through here. We're gonna definitely increase the tram traffic though, uh, but that is okay. And then what we can do is because we're trying to get people to go up north through here is instead of making that bit of a milk run we can now because we took uh, a tram stop out of here we can now get this tram to flow through here again so uh, it'll swing down and then we don't need it to loop around anymore so we can actually take that stop out and then we can take this stop out so now it flows through here bada bing bada boom and now it can connect with, an, with a north-south line. Uh, and then we can also just get this one to turn here so we avoid the congestion. And then it hops onto this line, then goes south. All right, so a bit of a revision here, but uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty well. Let's, uh, let's look at this game simming and we'll see what else is happening. Now we have a bus lane here, but we don't have any buses using it. So because we've kind of diverted tram traffic through here, we do have a bit of a gap in transit through here. So what I'm thinking is we try to encourage, this is, this is uh, the first uh, thought at least, uh, we are going to grab bike lanes 
and we're gonna fill in this road with bike lanes. Up to here, at least. Um, because we took bike lanes out over here, which I mean, we probably should look at changing up now because they're, they're obsolete. So uh, we'll come back and we'll look at all the bike lanes through there. But if we get bike lanes down into here, at least that's a good starting point, right? So we'll add in those bike lanes. Pretty simple, right? It's no, no big deal at all. It just, uh, it removes parking in the game. All right, we did that. We'll turn collision back on. I just realized that's just, uh, that was still off. And then, oh, never mind. Uh, we'll put this back. There's no parking on this road anyways, so no big deal. And then all we're doing pretty much is increasing the transit through here. And then look, we connect up with bike lanes here. So we'll do that. And then also these bike lanes connect into the university. So instead of trees here, why don't we add in a bike lane? So we'll do a one-way bike lane road right here. Look at that. And now people can bike into the university and we, will, uh, we won't touch anything else, but now people will at least feel comfortable doing that. So that is great. So let's actually look at some more bike lane options because uh, we just cut off bike lanes down here. Uh, which, I mean, we replace it with the tram. So theoretically, you could get on your bike uh, um, put it on the tram, I guess, right? We have a bike lane through here, and then it goes into the university. So I think that's probably fine. Uh, it's probably not needed, to be honest. But there's not really many other great options through here. We could use this as a bit of a, of a bike lane option. Yeah, why don't we uh, we start this bike lane right here, and I'll actually increase the capacity on this road. Oh, never mind. Uh, we'll do this one, flip around. So now we even get better traffic flow for here. And then we got some one-way systems, eh? So there we go, that works. Uh, darn. Uh, we're gonna need to turn zoning off here because uh, we had it previously turned off, and we might lose those buildings now, unfortunately. But uh, we'll see. All right, so then we have this four lane system here, but uh, it's not really that crazy. So I think what we can do is, oh, I mean, this is actually a prime candidate for a bit of a, a bike bridge, isn't it? Because we did get some bike traffic flow through here, but we're not gonna really get it into this section anymore. And plus this is a bit of an industry area anyways. Uh, we might be able to get it alongside this bridge and connect into here, or at least connect into down here. That might work. Then we can change up some of this. Because in reality, and we're not really doing that much to it. Uh, I think we'll want it that way. And then this way. Um, and go back to the one ways. And uh, you know what? Why don't we uh, why don't we just forget about it? And we'll get the bike lanes to here, and then we'll just get them to be able to transfer over here. So um, we'll go on to this road here, we'll grab the pedestrian bike path, and then we'll just get a small connection up like that, and then we'll upgrade. Uh, this one to the pedestrian bike path as well. So theoretically, people could transfer over here. It's not really a crosswalk, but they could bring it down and it might encourage biking uh, altogether. But to get a, a... Actually, we might be able to get it over right here. So why don't we try that? Uh, we'll go elevated. And we'll get, uh, we'll start it right about here. Whoops, misclicked. Uh, sure, we'll start it right there and then we'll elevate it up. To try to be the same height as this bridge. Turn collision off. There we go. And then we'll get it to 
come to about here and then over. We'll say that these drivers are rather skilled. <laughs> uh, and then we'll bring it down to home. And then now we have uh, an even better connection here. So I think what I'll do is I'll just drag this over like so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then now it brings bikes into here, which they'd be at this intersection. So why don't we look at those bike roads? And let's see if we can find a three lane. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Uh, ground level. So the bikes come into this intersection, and then now they're here. And uh, we'll leave this as protected for now. And we could even continue it a bit farther, but I think that's probably fine because we really increased uh, the, the bike network through here, which hopefully should increase the amount of people um, trying to uh, move along through this area. All right, so we'll do that. Bring this over a touch. And uh, you know what? I think this one should obviously be a bit more over as well. We'll lower it a bit. Oh, look at that. They were able to cut across. That's fantastic. We'll say that's a gate or something. <laughs> All right, and then we'll move this one over as well. And then we'll lower it down to the same height as this node. Oh, that was higher apparently, so we'll just lower it down. All right, and then this one, we'll also lower it down a bit and move slightly over. And look at that, people are people are already using it. It's a great crossing area. Um, and look at these trams, holy cow. Okay, so we didn't actually name this tram line, um, but that's okay. Look at that, so many people are using it. That's much more effective than uh, what it was previously. So let's actually just get nine on there. All right, and let's actually just uh, to grab uh, this tram line. Uh, let's just grab this one. Someone has a hundred people waiting for it, and let's take a look at where they're going. So they're going down south here. So they're going to be on this tram line. They're going to stop here. They're going to stop in here. They're going to hop on this orange line and then go over this way. Look at that. But we still need that bus connection through here because there were people waiting to get down. Uh, down this way and we did delete a bus line that stopped down here so it actually stopped by the ferries so let's get that bus line back in here but we're going to change its original path so we're going to get a stop right here it's going to swing out it's actually instead of going through here it's going to stop right here again uh, this is because we actually have a crosswalk right here so people will be able to walk uh, along it and then it's going to go underneath this bridge it's going to completely avoid things but it's going to be able to connect up as well with a transfer stop over here. It's then going to swing into here, uh, connect up right here, which is beside the subway and these trams. And then it's going to pretty much just loop around again. Um, I guess we'll get a stop here because I don't want to stop right in front of the arena. And then we'll get a stop on the other side right here then this way people or maybe we maybe we should bring this a bit farther along no no I think it's fine it'll duck into here people can get off it's pretty much it's fantastic to go right here because this tram line is almost doing a parallel to this but uh, just different opportunities to stop and then I'll come back down and around pretty simply that is the ferry connection into the downtown because it brings us to the subway even though it's right here but it is kind of doing the same thing to be honest but it allows more connections with this area because someone here that wants to get into the downtown it's just easier for them to hop onto this bus and over um, there's also so pretty much the transit through here is fine because there's a bike lane through here there's one tram and then there's all these hubs throughout here uh, so I don't think we need to worry about that um, people in this area 
have great uh, options because they have this tram line that goes north. It connects all uh, with these east-west lines. Uh, but we do need to move this bus uh, stop now because it is no longer on tram roads. So we're going to bring it down here. Um, let's see, so it's coming along this road here. Uh, we'll get it to stop right in the middle of these roads. And then now we can actually look at downgrading some of these roads too. So why don't we just go to our basic roads and we'll start with them and then if, if needed, we'll increase them later. But all these roads don't actually need to be tram roads. And now we get parking on these roads again, uh, which is fantastic. And look at that, that's a bike lane. So the bike lane actually runs all the way north through here. So, and it ends at the university, oh, it ducks over there. So we can actually look at bringing this bike lane a bit farther now. So we'll bring this down through here. And then we could actually bring it right down across now, can't we? So let's actually just redo that. We'll bring bike lanes down to here. It'll stop right in here where they can potentially transfer onto here. And then we'll also look at bringing in uh, darn, uh, should have been elevated. There we go. Um, put that back to ground level. And we're there again. Uh, and now we're through here, which this could easily connect up with the bike lane through here. So why don't we uh, do that as well? So we'll grab the vanilla one. And instead of bringing it more south this way, we'll bring it along this road uh, because we don't have, haven't really built up this area yet. Um, and then this is clearly not being used that heavily. So this could also be a bike lane, which would connect uh, up pretty good. So we'll just do that as well. All right, so that, uh, that really worked out. So why don't we take a quick peek at some transit stops and we'll look at uh, where people are going from here. So 38 people along this line and they're all going north and they're going a bit farther too. So this tram line extension up into here really helped out because they get to transfer onto this purple line at some point and they can go farther. So let's actually take a look at the next stop here. And these people are all going north, which I mean, it looks like they're just waiting for the tram. So clearly we need more tram stops. Um, yeah, you know, I think this line is good. Let's take a quick peek at the tram lines themselves because uh, we do need to add a couple more onto it. There's 19 vehicles on it. That many people are using this? Wow, I actually don't think so. I think since we expanded it, it's actually increased in numbers and I think it's just catching up. So we'll actually leave that bus line or that tram line and then we'll duck into some other ones. So the university line is now really changed as well. People aren't really using it as much because we, I guess we are sharing a little bit. So we'll duck that down to 10. Uh, but why don't we start off with the stop here? Where are people going from that stop? Well, it looks like people are going along the purple line. So I think we're good. Uh, why don't we take a look at the zoo actually? Because the zoo is really grown in popularity. And look at this bus. So this bus right here. 132 people, where are they going? I think this is gonna be a big tell. So this bus line, well, it's also, sorry, it's also gonna be a great showcase for the mod. So people are going everywhere in the city. So this bus line brings them down through here, connects to there, which is great. Uh, they can then take the train to uh, this stop here where they can hop onto some transit options there. Uh, the bus actually goes over here. So it looks like these people are all covered. And then it also hops onto this tram line or this uh, subway line and then they take them downtown and it looks like everyone's covered by good transit options so i think what this mod has shown us is that uh, we actually did a pretty good transit network so why don't we just kind of take a peek and we'll look for some gaps uh, in the transit system well you know what i want to take a look at the tra uh, the bus line that goes underneath uh, the collector it is not being as used as I thought it was going to be. So let's just duck it down to, to 10. Uh, that's good. Uh, we've already kind of looked at a lot of these bus lines, but, um, oh, you know what? I think we needed to increase that bus at the zoo, didn't we? And we didn't. So uh, we'll do that. There's 133 people. 
There's lots of people waiting at these bus stops. So this is actually a much more popular bus line than I expected it to be. This one is just a connector into Riverside and it's a lot less popular, so we'll take a bus off of that. Uh, that is great. And this is gonna be a mod that we're gonna look at a lot more in the future as well. Uh, because I was kind of saving it, to be honest, uh, to show all at once. Uh, and I know this wasn't the best uh, option ever, um, but we are we're making a good time. Um, there's a couple more transit things I want to look at adding in, and I think we'll do it tomorrow. Uh, we'll do tourism and uh, inner city buses tomorrow. Actually, we don't have any in, in the city, which is kind of surprising, uh, but we'll dive into a couple of uh, the viewer suggestions uh, and we're gonna start off with one really quick one and that is just add a dog park in uh, in the park right about, right about here uh, this was a gr uh, something we actually took out uh, originally um, but I'm glad we were gonna add it back in That's, that was a great spot for it um, and then the next one was uh, actually to do some of the transit lines that we did. So I'm glad I just got that one in uh, with the dog park. Um, all right, so let's just look at uh, bus lines again because there's a couple more things I wanna look at. Sorry about that little bit of a side note there, but I wanna look at uh, buses through here because if I remember correctly, there were lots of people using them. And it looks good now, lots of people are actually using the walkways too. But if we come into here, we grab this tram or this train uh, there are five trains on it now. I think we only need four. I thought I only put four on it, but I guess not. If we look at this stop, oh, that was the wrong stop. Sorry about this. There we go. Um, where are people going at this stop? Because they're clearly going downtown. Oh, wait, I think I'm doing it wrong. No, these people, oh, sorry, I'm a bit lost. Um, maybe it's these people I want to check out. Yeah, right here. I want to see where people are going on this stop. And it doesn't really show anything because no one's waiting there. It looks like people are just using it to commute around, uh, which is fantastic. So, um, there's lots of people using this, which is just what I'm curious about. Cause like, it seems like there's a ton. I put inner city trains on here. Um, and just people are just just flowing out of here. So there's no way this many people are just coming into this area. So they must be trying to get to uh, somewhere in the city, the main city, because they're just kind of walking in and going in a few different places because we do have a, an express bus. And that's kind of what I was looking at is if we can get uh, a different express bus. So the express bus is over here. So this is kind of what I was looking for. Uh, line details, this stop. Where are these people going in the city? Because can we get an express bus somewhere else? And I think that's what we'll look at. So since I have actually talked about it, let's do the inner city buses today. Because I kind of want to continue with this because we do have some time. So we have the inner city bus station. We have the inner city bus terminal. We also have a couple of metro hubs, which might be a great little options here. Um, I'm kind of I'm thinking about which area I want the inner city bus station in. And I want it close to the 401, but I also wouldn't mind if it was over here somewhere. So I want it close to subway systems. So we also, we have this option which has a subway in it, uh, but I don't really want I don't really know where we could get this, where there'd be a nice subway connection yet. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll just start with uh, the basic inner city buses. And maybe we'll kind of suggest that this is an older bus station in here. And I'm thinking uh, this is going to be a great spot for it. We'll actually put it over here because it's going to be a bit closer to the subway uh, system. Um, because buses are pretty, there's lots of options for them to get off the highway. Uh, and then they just merge up here. Then we can also have a bit of a hub uh, using this. So I think what we'll do is we'll just throw this down. Um, actually, let's uh, <laughs> let's play it smart here, Steven, and we'll get a bit of a one-way loop road through here. So let's just grab a one-way road, uh, pretty basically, and uh, we'll get it 
about here. Tap it in. And then we'll get it started out over here. Uh, let's actually make that a bit bigger. There we go. Alright, so we are adding some lights in he on here, so I don't really want that. Whoops. Uh, we'll do that. And whoopsies, holy cow. Add some yield signs. We're good there, but I'll make dedicated turning lanes. Uh, and I'll slow down the traffic through here so we don't get people going along it, along it for no reason. Um, all right, and this is a bike lane, so that's fantastic. So this is actually a great, uh, great spot for this. So this is the smaller one. This is the bigger one. I think the bigger one fits a bit better for this area, uh, and then we can also get a lot of buses to terminate here. So we'll go for the bigger one. Just grab the surface painter tool really quickly, and just do that. Yeah, sorry if I'm a bit of if I've been a bit flip floppy in today's video. My brain is just fried from work today. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, that happens. All right, so let's grab the bike lane. Uh, yeah, the bike pedestrian path. I'll turn guidelines off. And I would love if we could just get a nice little... Oh, never mind. That's where the buses go, isn't it? Okay, let's actually just squeeze this in anyways. Right, and then I'll just use move it. There we go. We'll bring this over, and then I'm gonna bring this one over a touch as well. Uh, yeah, it's still pretty much centered, anyways. All right, let's get some cool decorations. Let's get uh, perhaps a nice row of these trees. Not big enough. Let's go with these ones. Those ones aren't the right tree. There we go. This little row of trees, a nice old school kind of uh, bus terminal here. Oh, you know what? This, it doesn't have as many stops as I thought it was gonna have. So inner city buses are gonna come through here, but can we also get stops on it? Yeah, we can, okay, good. Oh, never mind. there's tons. And we had collision on when we moved it, so there's trees in the way. <laughs> um, all right, so let's Let's actually look at getting that bus stop right here to come into the bus station. We'll get it to stop right here. I'm gonna to try to not double up on the buses because um, we don't really need that many, right? But it will come over here, over this way. Then this black line over here, which jumps around a bunch. Uh, I guess it makes sense in a way, but perhaps why is it doing that? Okay, I think we need to revise this bus line here. So let's actually take it out. If we can. Let's just take that out. And let's just um, get a secondary bus line in here instead. So this one kind of dipsy doodles through. That's fine. This one also dipsy doodles through. But how about we get it to. Hmm, so this one just swings down into Packinghampton and back. But we can totally just grab it from here. Swing it in over this way. And then we'll get it to stop over here. We'll eliminate this stop and this stop. Get a stop there. So we can still transfer over that way. At least. It's a bit funky, but I think it works. Uh, why don't we actually get this one to stop over this way as well? So now it uh, doesn't go onto the highway. I think it's a bit of a, a loop down here. We don't actually need it to. Ah, uh, yeah, we do actually because there's uh, there's that as well. But uh, that works. Uh, and then now we need a new bus line, so we'll create a new line right here. It'll go down this way. 
it'll kind of follow this bus a little bit. Um, but we'll get it to stop right here for its first stop. And then we'll just get it to pretty much do a bit of a milk run uh, down this main avenue here. And I think we'll get it to stop one more time right there. And then we'll get it to run into the post office area. And then it will take a bit of a run back. And then this way we have all the bases covered for um, future transit services in the area. And then we'll run back. Oh, the balloon. So that's a great bus line. I won't spend time uh, naming the buses today, but let's just go back and look at these bus lines now. So we also have, well, we do connect over this way, but we also have this green one that might be able to swing by. No, I don't think so. I think that's just a bit too far. But and then, yeah, if anyone were to come over into this way, they like from out of the city, they can easily hop onto the subway. And that's pretty good. Uh, though, it would be nice to get a tram out this way, but it looks like they can connect to any tram pretty much pretty easily uh, over here. So why don't we... Take a look at it at, uh, whoa, look how many people are using these, this already. Oh, a lot of that it is uh, inner city buses too. So why don't we take a look at this line? Oops. Sorry about this. Here we are. And let's see where people are going. Oh, there's no one. That was weird. Looks like there were people. Yeah. Okay, where are they going? The zoo. Oh, and then all throughout here. Which, I mean, doesn't the uh, the bus come out this way? And it connects to... Yes, yeah, so we're pretty much good on that. Um, but I'm glad that we got this inner city bus in here. And that means this whole block is going to change up a little bit. Because we have a high school through here. We'll definitely need to run a connection up here in the future. Um, but I'm glad we got this inner city bus station in here, but I think I'm going to get a second inner city bus terminal as well. Um, and we're going to go for the smaller one. And this is going to be maybe like a, a secondary station. And I was eyeing this corner here. Like, doesn't that look just absolutely perfect right there? Especially if we can kind of get it to be placed right up here. Uh, and then we can have a bit of some bus terminals through here because right now the buses are kind of swinging down in places I don't really want them to but the tricky part would be to Get it to line up properly. So uh, Why don't we go for a one-way uh, little loop here? We'll get it to uh, Come out just a little bit Maybe a bit more Whoopsies look out yeah, we'll bring it out to about there. And there, and then we'll bring it down. I'm actually just gonna flip it though, to be honest. There we go. Uh, and then let's pause the game really quickly and then I wanna get this right here. All right, so I knew that was gonna happen with the hill, but uh, if we just lower this down a bit, I might be able to work. Bit, bit challenging uh, and then this also needs to raise up actually let's just get it to this height and then let's just shift it around a bit uh, or maybe we should have flattened out the land a little bit before we did this because they clearly would have done that uh, if they were building a bus terminal um, over here <laughs> Uh, and then why don't we get in a bit of a service road behind here. So we'll just go with the basic road for now. And this is just too good of an option to, to not do. And this can also help, um, help flatten out the train a little bit too. So we'll do something like this. Just swing this out like that. That'll be for buses only. Um, and then now let's grab uh, all these nodes that we just kind of made And then we want it all at that height 
except for this one. Yeah, this kind of works. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just grab this, we'll back it up a little bit, and then we'll grab these two, and we'll stretch it out. Hmm. I don't actually love how this connects. So I'll take that out, and uh, we'll actually just grab this one, and we'll get a connection in over here. And then I'm just going to uh, actually just grab this one. We're going to pull it. Uh, over, I think that's probably fine, and then we'll just use Alt to snap that in a bit straighter. Uh, yeah, let's bring it up a bit farther. So we are creeping up a little bit. But we have space in the back area over here, not much. I'm just trying to make it so uh, it's a bit smoother. Let's try to grab those bus lines now because I would love to move this bus stop into here. Okay, well, we don't really need this stop down here because that's the whole point. So, all those people probably should have looked at it first, to be honest. Can now just have they'll have to come up here uh, to grab their bus, um, which is totally fine. It's not that far, and then now inner city buses will also come down this way. So they'll be coming off of this road and going into here. So it's going to back up traffic a little bit. This guy's confused. There we go. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll grab uh, this one right here. No, that doesn't really work. I'll just grab the basic asymmetrical one. Oh, holy cow, time. Uh, there we go. That'll work. Uh, kind of split things up a little bit. This is one way. Um, yeah, I think I need to extend this out a bit farther. Unfortunately. So, I mean, buses will be able to make those turns. I don't think any buses are going to go that way anyways. Um, and then, let's just lower the speed limit. Two twenty. Go. And uh, yeah, it looks like we have some great options. I'm just going to watch this bus really quickly, how it uh, goes through here. Yeah, I mean, it still works. I was, I was just worried about these little indents here. But uh, let's just check out uh, the bus route one more time, because I would love to get another one, because this one terminates through here, but uh, perhaps then we can grab uh, this bus. And I'll stop in the ferries, and then I'll swing down and stop right in here. So I'll swing down, stop at the ferries, swing over here, pick up people, and stop back. So I think what we'll need to do is just get uh, another bus stop over here really quickly. That's fine. Um, it might be, it might cause a bit of traffic there, uh, but. We have the tram line servicing this area. There's a stop right here as well. Uh, let's just do a bit of detailing and then we'll end off the episode. So I'm just gonna pave this all in because if this was something that was built a long time ago, this kind of thing would definitely just be all concrete, wouldn't it? A long time ago, like in the last few years, to be honest. Um, all right, and then this area would need to stretch out a bit more to accommodate the bus. There we go, we have a bit interesting things and then right along through here let's just get a couple of pathways through here whoops holy cow clicking all the wrong things <laughs> uh, we'll go with just the basic one right through here and I'll just get a nice connection down through there and then over here and then that way people will start walking along here and then uh, what I'll do to kind of decorate this up a little bit is I'll just get a basic park fence we'll turn all guidelines off and I'll just run a fence line right down it. And that kind of separates it a little bit as well. Uh, I know this looks a bit funky over here, so I wonder if there's anything I can do. I have a node there. I'm just going to swing this node down. I am then going to add in a node right here. 
And then I'll just try to adjust this node a little bit more. So it's a bit steep here, I know, but I think we'll be able to adjust it to make it look a bit nicer. Yeah, this is a bit steep now over here, so we'll just adjust that really quickly. And then this as well. But I mean, other than that, I mean, this is a light. I think there's some traffic updates we need to do in the future uh, and some detailing as well, but I have definitely run out of time. Uh, and then this path has definitely helped out uh, as well. So I think we'll look at detailing some things like this in the future, um, but I'm glad that we got the basics in. Oh, darn, that was not what I was hoping for. Perhaps uh, we can extend the park out over here as well. Uh, but uh, what are we doing in tomorrow's episode? Well, we'll be looking at some tourism uh, things. Um, and I love how we got these inner city buses in here now. Uh, this actually looks great in this area. I think I actually want to build up this area a bit with some taller buildings to kind of continue with the flow a little bit. Uh, but we'll be getting pretty close to our port soon. Um, but what are we doing today in, tomorrow, in, to, in tomorrow's video? Tourism things, I think. Uh, might be a bit shorter because the last few episodes have been quite long. Um, and then this bus. That's an inner city bus. Okay. So they're blue. Uh, this node isn't even long enough for these trams. Okay, well, I uh, am kind of playing a bit too much now, so I'll just end it here. Uh, what did we really do today? Uh, we revised some trams and we added in some buses, so why don't we just... Uh, end it here free camera mode perfect so we got an inner city bus station let's go like that it's a bit funky but there we go have a great day everyone talk to you soon peace out